Chapter 1245, Dragonal City. After hearing Han Yu Jiao, Shang Wen Fialong darted his eyes at Li Kai. Despite being unwilling, he still scowled and said, Our disciples were incapable, and out of consideration for young sister Han, I won't pursue this any further. But Li, you better control yourself. This is the territory of us sea demons. Without a doubt, this was a direct threat towards Li Kai. Li Kai only smiled and didn't really care. He had no intention of taking action against cultivators of Fialong's level unless they were asking to die. Fialong glared at Li Kai one last time before cupping his fists at Hong Yu Jiao. Young sis, I have met my big sister. She says that she also wants to see uncle. Wait for us after the birthday celebration of the Jian ancestor. We will visit your house and see uncle then. Hong Yu Jiao chose to be quiet instead of answering. After Fialong left, Zhang Bei to worriedly looked at her and said, Junior sister, it looks like his big sister is coming to ask for an engagement. He must be feeling quite confident this time. Eventually, Hong Yu Jiao answered, I won't marry so easily. It won't be that simple. Despite not staying at Dongjing Lake, Zhang Bei just still knew a few things, resulting in his worries. I heard that the Wyvern country has always wanted a human with a great bloodline to help pass on their own. People say that Fia Long's bloodline is very powerful, the best of the younger generation with the exception of his sister. I also heard that they wanted to become in-laws with the exquisite valley. Unfortunately for them, the valley refused right away. Zhang Bei to continued, Sister, your bloodline is the most exceptional in our lake, so the Wyvern country won't give up that easily. Plus, with his sister coming in person, they will also have the backing of the Roaring Kong, giving them ample leverage. HMPH, so what if Shang Wenfin is back? Hong Yu Jiao snorted, can they really force this marriage? Zhang Bei to could only sigh. There was no point in worrying about it since he wasn't strong enough to do anything. Regardless of her tough posturing, she still reminded Li Kei, young noble Li, there's no need to worry about this Shang Wenfi along. However, his sister, Xu Wenfin, warned some caution. She comes from the Roaring Khan and is doted on by its ancestors. People say that there is a possibility of her marrying the Cixio prince to become the mistress of the Roaring Kong. Dot. Sometimes, taking a step back is the right way to go about things. You don't need to go head on against the wyvern country. She warned him with good intent. After all, the Roaring Kong is very powerful at the Dragon Demon Sea. They can even order the sea demons around the world. So it turns out that Shang Wenfi along came from wyvern, a great power in the sea region. Of course, the thing they were most proud about was not the true dragon bloodline coursing through their veins. It was Shang Wenfian who was able to join the Roaring Kong and become one of the youngest god monarchs. Li Kai responded to these warnings with a smile. Hong Yu Jiao sighed because she understood that her words went in one ear and out the other. After leaving the valley, she also wanted to return to Dongjing Lake in order to report to her father. Before leaving, she respectfully said her goodbyes, I'll go report to my father about this. Hopefully, you will meet him at least once. Li Kai insipidly responded, tell him to come meet me at Dragonal. After she left, Li Kai told Zhang Bei to, go back and clean up your belongings, we'll be going to Dragonal. Zhang Bei to nodded. At this time, he would obey any command from Li Kai. After packing his stuff, he followed Li Kai to Dragonal. This was the second stop of Rainbow City. There was only one way to go from Dragonheart to Dragonal, and that was to ride the Rainbow Fish. Just like Dragonheart, no one knew where Dragonal was located. They only knew that these fish were the only method of transportation linking all the cities together. At the very least, no one had heard of someone being able to go from one city to another using a different method. The duo arrived at the ferry again and found that there was already a long line. It was still an ordinary old man collecting money at the entrance. He had a light blue robe with an indifferent expression. He stared at the cultivators as if all of them owed him money. When it was Li Kai's turn, Li Kai said, to Dragonal. The old man glanced at the two and pointed at Zhang Bei to, you, one provisional palace jade. Zhang Bei to was surprised and stammered, it, it has always been free for me at Rainbow City. Rainbow Island to Dragon Hark was free for me just earlier. Zhang Bei to didn't really know why it had always been free for him. Maybe that particular old man knew that he didn't have enough money to pay. Nevertheless, always paying no fee left him a bit embarrassed since he wasn't the type who relished taking advantage of others. One provisional palace jade. The old man ignored him then reached out his hands towards Li Kai and coldly demanded, You, one thousand virtuous paragon jades. That's outrageous. Zhang Bei to was scared silly. It didn't cost us that much to come here from Rainbow Island. Pay if you want to go. If not, then scram already. The old man angrily shouted, leaving no room for negotiation. Zhang Bei to glanced at Li Kai. This old man clearly wanted to play them, especially Li Kai. Li Kai only smiled with a carefree attitude as he handed a black pouch over to the old man. The old man put the pouch away without looking at the contents before whistling for two rainbow fish. How much will you charge me to go to the city in the clouds? Li Kai smiled at the old man. The old man didn't bat an eye as he replied with the same emotionless expression, who knows. Money is not a problem. Li Kai leisurely pressed on, I will have to go up there eventually, so take out your abacus to calculate how much it will cost. The cold old man didn't want to answer, so he didn't make a single sound. After sitting on the fish, Li Kai added in a serious tone, since I have to visit it either way, I hope the rainbow fish will take me there at that time, okay? The old man remained quiet. At this time, the fish were spewing bubbles. They floated along the bubbles and disappeared right away. When Li Kai and Zhang Bei regained their vision, they were in a different city. This was the second stop of Rainbow City, Dragonal. According to the legends, 
Dragonal hid unparalleled treasures that remain veiled from the public eye. After they disembarked the fish, Zhang Baiita curiously asked, Young noble, what kind of city is above the clouds? He knew that Rainbow City consisted of Dragonhark, Dragonal, and Dragon Spring, but he had never heard of a city above the clouds, people never mentioned it. You don't need to know, so don't ask. Li Kai gently shook his head. If, one day, the people up there notice you, then you will naturally learn about them. Just keep trying, the future is still full of opportunities. Zhang Baiita didn't ask again. He breathed deeply and nodded. Stay at the Rainbow Pavilion branch. Li Kai casually handed some jades to Zhang Baiita before leaving. Zhang Baiita watched him leave without asking where he wanted to go and headed for the inn right afterward. Li Kai walked along a long street with his heart slightly jumping. Something seemed to be affecting him as unwanted memories resurfaced in his mind. He took his time walking to the end of the street. An old mansion appeared before him. Its age didn't affect its majestic aura, as if there was an overlord presiding over the estate. A wooden plaque with the word Jian could be found hanging at the entrance. It was written in an archaic style that contained infinite prestige. The Jian clan of Rainbow City was a legendary existence. Despite its low profile, people still viewed it with awe and respect. Rumor has it that the Jian clan were the only outsiders who were allowed to stay long term at Rainbow City. This was the only stopping place for humans in the entire city. Rainbow City was vast. Many powerful lineages, such as the Seven Marshall Pavilion and the Roaring Kong, wanted to establish their own strongholds or divisions in this place. However, regardless of how strong they were, even when their sea gods were still alive, they couldn't get into Rainbow City. These powerful lineages didn't dare to act recklessly here without permission from the city.